Hey, <laughs> that was bad. Hi, everybody. Uh, my name's Steph. I'm the average artist. You may or may not know that, but today we're going to be reviewing this upgrade box that they kindly sent me just because they they wanted to uh, get it reviewed. I guess. Oh, that's my address. Because uh, they wanted to get it reviewed. This is not an ad. Uh, they've just sent me this, which you know I'm actually kind of in this whole YouTube game content creator thing for the free art supplies, but just keep that quiet because maybe they won't send me anything anymore. Have to do mine. All right, so here we go. We've got this. This is upgrade number thirty-one. Ignore this stain. This was an upgrade. This just. Don't look at it. What I really like is this detail with the little key. Uh, not a key. Keyhole. Keyhole. That's the word. Oh my god. My brain. Uh, so it says cast off and loosen the lines, which I'm not going to show you because um, my address is on the back. But it just says to open it here. And then hopefully we can just... Okay, it's time for art. I like this. I like this a lot. I don't think I've ever been sent anything by Upgrade before, which is kind of exciting. Um, so let's see what we have in here. Weird supplies inside, okay. There's some magazines as well, some stickers. Very nice, we love some stickers. What's this? 80%, 80? Me? Okay, thanks, thanks for that, I guess. <laughs> a bit random. Auto post. Issue 17 and Art Space Magazine. Oh, it's a sketchbook. I was thinking it's a magazine. Dumb. Okay, I think this tells me what is in there, so I don't want to look yet. Um, I'll just leave those there for now. We've got these stickers, which look really cute. I like that style, it's quite fun. Upcrate My Weird Art. That's a cool, you get like a print as well. Yulia. Oluva? I don't know if that's her um, her Instagram tag or not, or if that's just what we're calling this crate. So anyway, it's, it's kind of cute. All right, let's open it. Weird art supplies aside. Oh, this kind of scares me, because what do you mean? <laughs> Am I going to like it? Ooh, oh my God, you get a lot of stuff, actually. What? Hang on a sec, I'm gonna look up how much it is. Okay, so I just looked this up and it's 24 euros for a box, which would be about 22 pounds, probably about $30, not sure. Don't quote me on that, um, <laughs> on that exchange. Okay, so you get a Van Gogh watercolor, Indigo, Van Gogh watercolor yellow ochre, very nice, and a Van Gogh turquoise, turquoise green. Then uh, you get, I'm just shocked by like the, <laughs> the amount you get. I'm not even just saying that because I know some people are like, you get something, you're like, wow, it's amazing. Like you, they big it up. But honestly, I think this is a lot for your money, if that makes sense. Like, uh, graphite pencil. Okay. Not so... <laughs> Look at this crazy art supplies, a pencil. <laughs> What's this? This is like calling to me. Extinguishing solution for brush, pen and ink. Removes non-permanent inks on paper. Mixed media or watercolour papers are best suited. It can take a few seconds to take the colour. Okay. Can be painted over after. So this gets rid of ink on paper, apparently. Well, I'll believe it when I see it. You get these Ecoline, Ecoline, I don't know how to say it, Ecoline. <laughs> kind of sounds, uh, sounds like I'm saying Ecoline. Ecoline brush pens, which look pretty nice to me. I feel like you get them in a similar colour that the watercolours are. So, like, an ochre, a yellow, an orange, and a blue, and a black, which is going to be nice to use. Not sure how to use them together. I get a micron pen with archival ink, which is kind of cool, and it's micro pigment ink for waterproof and fade proof lines. 
so as you guys probably know, microns are waterproof, so you can use them and then paint over with, um, what am I saying, with watercolours, which is pretty handy. And now, look, as well, we get a Da Vinci, do we? Is there something in here? A Da Vinci brush, which is looking nice. It's, uh, I don't know, I've never really rated Da Vinci super high. Um, I think they're okay. But a lot of people, I've seen people be like, wow, Da Vinci, so I don't know, maybe I'm just haven't used it right. A vegan, which is very good. I like that. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, great. Uh, that is actually quite a lot of stuff for your money. So I guess we're gonna use this sketchbook that they gave me. I mean, <laughs> it would be rude not to, right? Weird monsters I've seen so far. Okay, so this is her art again, Yulia. It is Yulia, right? Oh, I see. So you can do some cool stuff with these uh, brush pens and then just mock them out. Oh, so it gives you the price of each thing. So this is six euros fifty. Oh, okay, so these are about three euros each. Gives you a color chart of all the ones available. Please ignore my cats. They, I don't know why, but they've decided that this is hyper time. This micron pen is just three euros sixty, and the paints are about four euros, so I was about right. Okay, that's pretty cool. Um, ah, so it does give you a rundown of how the savings that you've made which is pretty cool but i guess the the downside is you do get like random supplies i guess you could go on their site and look what the old crate is and maybe order that if you wanted to i guess you can send in your photos of what you've done and they might feature you in the magazine which is nice i like that about like seeing what people will do and uh, a bit of a community going on it's nice like what we like to see isn't it it's very nice all right so let's get down to using the supplies. I'm not a huge fan of using pencils anymore or just like to sketch out stuff. So yeah, I don't know. I think I prefer just going in with stuff, but for the sake of the art box, we will go for it. So I've been really enjoying uh, painting cats and painting them like windowsills. There's like a whole trend of them on Pinterest if you're interested <laughs> to go and see lots of kitties and windowsills. So I'm just gonna sketch out roughly where I want. This cat. If you don't like cats, I'm afraid you're in the wrong channel. <laughs> Is all I will say. Okay, I'm just roughly gonna draw this out. Um, okay, GG. Let's just uh, try the. Do you mind? I've spoken to him now, he's gonna meow all the time. I'm gonna try the brush pens down here and do like some swatches down here and see what it's like. This paper is really nice, it's quite thick, so it will be nice to paint on and use mixed media on. I never, I think I've never used these. Oh, I do not like that yellow. That yellow is bright. It might make a good contrasting color though. So maybe we can like it. Blue. You could kind of like mix them a little bit, which is kind of interesting. Nice, okay, cool. Yeah, liking them. Uh, the black, let's see. Mm. I, li I like these pens, they're pretty cool. Um, going down really nice. They're kind of like Oscars, but with watercolour, if that makes sense. <laughs> Is it watercolour? I feel like alcohol markers to me. A bit. I could be completely wrong. I could look it up in the uh, leaflet, but I'm too lazy. I'm sure people in the comments will shout at me what it is. You don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, I never used these before. Chill out. <laughs> Can you tell that I'm a bit obsessed with cats? Can you? Right, uh, I want to see if we can use this. So let's try that out because it did show me in the 
I did not, I was not ready for that to have a brush on it. So I just kind of like bent it out of the, the pot, but oh well. It showed me in the leaflet that you can just erase it with this. <gasps> That's kind of cool with the, with the pen. Yes, Gigi, I need, oh, don't talk to him. That's really cool with the Ecoline pen. You can just erase stuff. That looks kind of interesting. It's kind of a really deep color, right? So let's see what it does. Let's do a square there as well. Okay, it doesn't like using the pens on the paper. You have to be a bit careful, wait for it to dry. Don't be like me. <laughs> see what I'm doing and do the opposite basically just don't follow my lead at all this is like a warning video so if you see this video and you you're just like what the heck is she doing there you go i've helped you <laughs> uh let's make a cat blue because why not because i can i'm gonna make him yellow first you've made him yellow not blue you lied a difference there. Uh, let's see. Let's use the black on this guy. Even though, even though he disappears into black, that doesn't make sense, stuff. You're doing it wrong. Don't care. <laughs> Literally don't care. Uh, ooh, ooh, don't like that though. Regret that. You were right, guys. I was doing it wrong. He looks too chunky now. All right, well then, now I need to commit to the outline of all of them. Please just ignore the cat in the background meowing. He is totally fine. He just wants to go outside. He's not allowed because he is under a careful eye. He is a flight risk, so he cannot leave. Last time he left, he ran away. We had to go around all the gardens and be like, I need my cat back. Okay. So, yeah, not liking this illustration that I've done, but you get the idea of the art supplies. You get the idea, you get the idea. It's kind of cute. I kind of regret doing like this thick line but oh well yeah so bear in mind if you do use this marker it's completely thick let's see if it's gone through the page a little bit where i've used the um the brush x whatever this is called and then reapplied, it's gone through a little bit. Uh, let's see the water colors. I don't really need to test the water colors. I kind of know what they're about. I've had them before. So let's just dive into doing the drawing, shall we? Okay. Do, 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 do. Okay, for my next drawing, I'm gonna be adding um, these two colors from my Liquitec gouache, just because there's no white and there's no red. So I cannot make pink or any of the colors I enjoy. <laughs> so I'm joking, um, but I do love me some pink.
Okay guys, that is it. That's the final image. I really like it. Um, I really liked using the Equaline uh, paints and mixing them with the watercolour paints, like getting that texture and just mixing it up and making some really nice textures here. I really found that really fun and yeah, I'm glad that I used the base coat of the pink because I really like the way that it shows through the different cactuses. Uh, yeah, I really like this image and I think that's really cool. Uh, thank you for Upgrade for sending me this box. Definitely check them out if you're interested, guys. They're pretty cool. I think it's worth your money. The only downside is obviously you don't know what you're going to get. So you don't know if you're going to enjoy the art supplies that you receive. But if you like trying out loads of different stuff, it's definitely worth um, giving it a go just for fun. So that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Please check out my Patreon if you want to support me down below. It will really appreciate it. Uh, and hopefully I'll see you around. I'll see you around town. <laughs> Bye!